Hey everybody, this is Nemo and in today's video we will see how to disable the top notifications in the PrestaShop back office. Uh, this method equally applies to PrestaShop 1.5 and 1.6 as we only have to modify the notification class. But um, before doing anything, why should we even need to get rid of those notifications? Um, well, if you run a big shop and say get plenty of customer registrations, uh, messages, and orders, the notified items list will keep growing and growing, especially if you don't check it often. Uh, say if you're lucky enough uh, to have hundreds of orders per day, the items list can reach thousands in a week. And then at a certain point, you might be wondering why your back office is hanging all of a sudden. Well, it's usually because of that. So in many situations, it is not only advice, but absolutely necessary to uh, get rid of these notifications. So, of course, make sure that you enable uh, the other uh, new order notification on the mail alerts module if you do this, if you apply uh, the tutorial. Otherwise, you might as well miss some of that. Now, let's get started. The modification itself is quite easy, actually. And as you can see here at the top, I have just one new order so I wouldn't really need it but uh, anyway let's open up classes notifications.php notification.php and we're interested in the get last elements method within it since uh, this part is what's taking up most of the resources we will simply ignore most of the uh, of the function and let's add right after the uh, notifications array declarations declaration for each this types as type notifications type equals array and then of course we return notifications okay say so we basically return an empty array for all these types effectively saving us the time of querying the database for all those new elements and so let's go back to the admin panel and, and refresh all right it's gone so you will notice that your previously hanging back office is not hanging anymore of course given that it was because of this you might have any any other kind of issue now in case you want them back you can simply obviously just comment this out and the rest of the code would run so as you can see it's pretty easy to take them back anyway and lastly make sure you use an override instead of modifying the core directly as I did if you're planning on updating your presser shop okay this is everything for today's quick video as always thanks for watching everyone i will see you next time